I was talking about this with some friends like a few months ago, like how when you're making music you can just, at least for me, when I'm just kind of creating, there can be this zone that you lock into. It's just like this is like what I'm meant to be here for kind of thing. I think it's just like exactly what I was saying before, people's like the way that we're just feeling more and more isolated every day. So we come together through very niche communities online that are like identifiable to our personalities now. And we can now find, for better or for worse, the perfect online community for whatever our needs are. I think it's especially with like the kind of now younger upcoming generation, like kind of generation younger online. Um, they're just so online and so into these kind of niche spaces. Well, I guess like the show also felt like the catalyst for there even being a community. It felt like the first time, at least for me, where it was like, oh, we're all sort of on the same page. To begin with, there were hardly any artists, so then you were only really connected to about five different artists in Australia. And then you think of the Coalesce show and then you chuck us all together and that makes it community in that way. We seek our tribe because we haven't been out in the world for Damn it. We're doing an interview. <laughs> Damn near two and a half years. <laughs> um, we've lost our people skills and our, our ability to interact with one another in a meaningful way. Special things can come out of like darkness and like dark places. Changing the bridge or the last chord? I, probably last. Chord. The new song is the first one that's come about from the four of us working together in the same room. As far as the lyrics and stuff, I can't really speak on that, but I think you can really. There's a lot more back and forth um, in all in the instrumental and the vocals compared to the previous stuff. Not that the previous stuff wasn't good, but it's definitely a, a new flavor. Like, um, when I recorded the vocals to that, I was like in my cupboard of my apartment trying not to get the police called for like, you know, crazy screaming and I was having head spins after doing it. I think there's kind of a uh, wanting to push elements of genres to be their extremes and like but combine that all together. Like a, like stacked harmonies and then they get like larger and larger. Are you talking about the vocals or the guitar? I think that works. Yeah. Bass guitar for sure. Yeah, I was thinking that. Sure, yeah. Yeah, totally. So just the 
endless hours of headbanging. Yeah, all of our backs were absolutely stuffed, especially <laughs> Moz's. Like, we <laughs> we had sessions together for a few days after the shoot, and the entire time Moz's back still had the heels, so, you know, he I really like put it back into it. the second Coalesce showcase and it was basically what I would think the vanguard of hyper pop, avant left pop music. Dane, Lonely Spec, Cookie, Hard Eyes, uh, Side Chains, who, you know, and Don Touch as well, they pretty much started this whole movement. They popularized it and it was great to get everyone into the one place, all there, you know, with the same mindset of just like forward thinking pop music. It was, just, it, it, was, it was just a nice place to have like everyone kind of together because that music is so like online and we did it obviously the first time in December. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was good. Yeah, I mean, I was nervous coming into it, I think only based on the fact that we'd had zero time to rehearse. Speaking for myself, quite... Um, intimidating to play a song of that magnitude live because I think myself, Cookie, and Lonely Speck are all producers by trade. Really just interesting and quite inspiring, especially like Coalesce, just seeing, um, I don't know, people just seemed like really there for the music. But I think the most rewarding thing about sharing music is when I've created this music for reasons that are so like specific and personal to me, but then people still resonate with that. That feels like really, um, yeah, really just like connecting. I think the sanctity in like finding a great idea that um, surprises you and reaffirms your creative abilities in times of so much doubt, I think that's a spiritual experience in itself. If you look at hyperpop or music now, society objectively is getting way, way and way more fucked up as we as we get on. So music has to get a bit more fucked up to reflect that. Yeah. 